taken a, a position that uh, the conditions that the doctors have raised are things which have been negotiated. And if the national government is caring about our people, they should sit and talk with the doctors, the doctors' union. And one sticking point uh, of interns, the interns are not bringing this idea of 200,000 shillings from the air. There was a negotiated settlement at some point two, three years ago where the national government committed itself to paying interns 207,000 shillings. The constitution says that if you are negotiating terms and conditions, uh, including uh, payment uh, of earnings, um, uh, like in the National Assembly or the, or the assemblies, you, 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 you cannot benefit in a normal circumstances of terms that are meant to benefit yourselves. But I think the operating principle is that if for any reason you've got to change any terms, you do not uh, give somebody a higher income and reduce that income unless they are very exceptional circumstances. And the government of Kenya has not shown or what those exceptional circumstances are. But I want to say in Siaya, uh, although we have had little disruption, but those disruptions are because we have in our establishment those who are engaged by the national government. Some of those have downed their tools, but they have downed their tools in solidarity with the other doctors who are on strike. Otherwise, 99% of the doctors who are employed by the county assembly continue to render their services in the, in, 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 in the hospitals, uh, particularly the uh, as, uh, hospitals in the sub-county.